How you doing? This is Zach Allen out here in beautiful Southern California. I'm going to share a tip with you today about another part of your body that's extremely important. I've done a couple videos now where we've talked about just small pieces in the swing, but what happens is you start to work these small pieces better, the overall big picture of your golf swing really starts to come together. So we're going to talk mostly about your right ankle, okay, um, and how your right ankle should be working in the golf swing. Two things that I see uh, beginners and intermediates do is they really start to rotate and that pushes their right foot up in the air and it pushes their hips and shoulders out and around and it's just your basic over the top move okay too much overuse of this right side in a rotary fashion um, good players even like uh, scratch golfers or single digit golfers I'll see them do it a little differently they'll go this way okay but there's still some misuse of their right ankle it'll put them into this early extension standing their spine angle up and them having to use their hands and arms to hit the golf ball. So both of those, you can really attribute a lot of it to just a lack of flexibility in their right ankle. Okay, so some things you can do at home just to work on your right ankle specifically is just practice at home rolling your right ankle against the ground. At home, standing in the line at the grocery store, wherever you want to practice it. But you can see here there's a lot of flexibility to a golfer's back ankle if they're, if they're a good player. Tigers worked on it a bunch, a lot of great players have. They're very conscious of their footwork and they know that a little bit of movement in the right foot makes the club move a lot in the wrong direction. So it's very important, the movement of small pieces, even though they're away from the club, they have an effect on it. So a good drill you can do once you've done some of the at-home stuff of just kind of really breaking down your, your right ankle and getting it to roll and move inward, it's one of those things that's just not natural. We don't do it in everyday life. So you have to train it, okay? Um, or else it'll take you years to get it, you know, years of hitting balls. And it's like, well, we don't have that much time. Let's get it faster, right? So a little bit at home practice would really go a long ways of breaking down some of the tissue needed to get this right ankle to work properly. So what you can do with the range from there, you hit some balls, put it on the inside of your right ankle, hit some punch shots, feeling it roll. So I could really feel from there. I hit down on that golf ball, but not this way. As soon as this pushes up, my right side is too high, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get very steep on the downswing if I hit down like that. I hit down like this. My, my, my weight moving forward and underneath, okay? My right ankle banking and rolling, pushing my hands in front of it, and just taking a nice thin divot from there. Okay, head still behind the golf ball, right side well under, coming through. Really important to hitting good shots. So from this down the line view, uh, it'll look like this. You'll see it'll really help you maintain your posture through the hitting area. If this right, if this right ankle doesn't properly roll, we're going to get a lot of this. So for those of you that feel like you stand up through the ball, your head comes up, uh, your posture changes, whatever it might be, a lot of it's attributed to this too. If you can practice banking and rolling this right ankle and then hitting shots where that ankle never really leaves the ground. You can see there I could hold my posture here all day long and I can continue to just look at the back of the ball if I wanted to. Uh, it's a great drill. It's not easy to do though. That's why you want to kind of do some of that specific training at home with it. And I promise you, you will strike the ball better with a little bit of that practice. I've never seen somebody that did it naturally. You have to train it. Give that a shot and I hope it helps you out. So here we have both of those problems seen from two different players. The first one on the left here, one of my juniors that I teach you is very good, but the right ankle causing some early extension and the club getting stuck behind him. And you can see while the club is on a nice plane, this early extension is really leading his body to early to, to stand up and raise through the hitting area and just all the disruptions that go along with trying to release the club that way. And now probably what we see more often, higher handicap player, but um, the issues in the right ankle and right foot causing the golf club to really work around his body his shoulders and his head to get out and around it in front of the golf ball. A lot of chicken winging. You can see um, a very rotary finish, but too much rotary. Um, and uh, same player here, I just want to show you kind of what happens as we started to work on that right foot, doing that exact same drill that we mentioned in the video. Um, he was hitting the ball big pulls, he would shank it sometimes, a lot of different misses. But this is after about 10 minutes of working that drill. You can see the club comes onto a much nicer plane. The right side is much more quiet, more underneath going through, leading to a much better release. 
and if you could, could have seen this, in about 10, 15 minutes, he was probably hitting it 10 to 15 yards farther and really eliminated some of the big misses, like the big pull or the shank um, straight off to the right here. This one on the right, the tempo was so much more fast and just way more overuse of that right side. So as he started to deliver the club on a better path, um, just because his right foot was swinging much more underneath through the shot there. You saw a huge difference in how that club was released, the overall tempo, balance, and everything. Um, head movement was much less. So like I said, that drill would definitely be great. Um, we can see it in other great players. You know, when you see great ball strikers, uh, this is great footage here of Mac O'Grady. But um, one thing that you always notice with great ball strikers, whether it be Ben Hogan or Tiger Woods or Mac O'Grady, you see definitely a, a very similar look in their right leg, especially guys that have been hitting it good just year in and year out. Um, but you see how that right ankle is just rolling going through the hitting area. They're just rolling and banking, weight pushing forward, right side working under nicely, just up to a nice, quiet, balanced, finished position. So I would give that a shot as you guys start to practice. Practice with that ball on the inside of your right foot. Practice at home, just feeling the proper footwork and legwork as you get into the hitting area. That in itself will really do you a lot of good.